There's that whole thing. That's cool. If you touch me and move me around, so help me Jesus, I will kill you. Yeah, there's not, it's just, it's just cool. Hey guys, welcome back to another non-Euclidean Minecraft video in which, boy, do I have something to show you. You ever see those videos of the people who make like a house and the house is like inside of itself, that weird recursive thing? You know what I'm talking about. Well, if you, like myself, have been curious about how that stuff works, stick around until the end because what I'm about to show you is powerful. As per usual, if you like these videos and you want to see more like them, then please do subscribe and ring that bell. I'm aiming to hit 100,000 by my birthday on June 22nd. We're pretty much on pace to get there, so if you do subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. And of course, liking the video, as well as sacrificing a comment to the almighty algorithm. Y'all know the drill by now. Links to all the mods in the description. Let's do this thing, bro. So, a Oh, I accidentally took a screenshot. Oops. The subject matter for this video lies in one command. Time set noon. That's I'm, that's a lie. I just wanted the sun to be up there instead of over there. The actual comment for this portal. Create scaled box view. And what that command does is it uses portals to project a rectangular prism of 3D space onto another rectangular prism of 3D space. Just like project it in a different location at whatever scale you choose. So let me do it. Let me first uh, do an example. Let me do like a version of stylish and compact. Okay, so there's no interior, which again, I don't think is an issue. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to first figure out what the actual, I cannot place this roof right, hang on. So the first thing I need to do to kind of figure out what space I want to project is to first, let me get that command, slash portal create scaled box view. And I want it to start from this block. And because this house is five wide, I want to try and make this box seven by seven by seven. So this is kind of inside the square. So, or the cube rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Yeah, okay. We're gonna add that to the command and let's go over here. Let's place a block and let me teleport into the center of this block real quick. So we've got slash TP, negative five, one, one point five, five, one, sixty three point five. Right in the middle. If you touch me and move me around, so help me Jesus, I will kill you. Okay. So we've got this command. Okay, so the next one is scale. And I want this to be seven because it's a, we're trying to fit a seven by seven by seven thing into a one by one block space. Place target entity is gonna be me. Then the next two are byway. We want it to be byway so we can go in and out of the space seamlessly. So true. And teleport changes scale. I'm actually not too confident in how this behavior actually works because it just kind of bugs in and out. What's probably gonna happen when I place this house is it's gonna immediately bug me in and out of a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna have to teleport back. That's just besides the point. But we're just gonna say true, I think. And then I'm gonna hit the command and it's gonna freak out. Oh! Okay. Oh, are we good? Uh Oh, I think that's what it meant by byway at the very least. Should I try this again? Let me try increasing these values by one. So if I went 10 and then I went four and I did this. Oh, it put me under the world. Let me uh, teleport myself up maybe 30 blocks. Okay, let's see if that helped at all. I'm big again, let me fix this. Oh, did I forget to set it as byway again? It appears I have, but you can start to see that the ground level of this block matches the ground level of the house. We're getting there. True. I have scaled up again, because why wouldn't I scale up? And then um, I'm not sure if we're gonna have those weird artifacts again. We are, because it, it, it's, it's like I'm looking at it from the perspective of way over here. But if we get close enough, and the block is kind of ruining the illusion here, but you get, you get the idea. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, cause I haven't actually tested this yet. I, I wanna see what happens if I do this from the inside of the house. That is something I have actually yet to test. And it's kind of the inspiration for this whole video. You scale down, you are tiny. So the idea for this gimmick is, and you know what, I'm actually gonna try something. I wonder, let's get a 16 by 16 by 16 space for this. So it actually can match up with the pixels of the block. So let's find like a corner over here. Did you just go inside my house? That's right. <laughs> it's like he heard me. Create, wait, no. Portal, create scaled 
box view. Now let me try something. If I use a path block, because that's one pixel short, and I include the ground layer, will this work in the way that I hope it will? Because that'd be very convenient and awesome if it did. 16, CSX42, true and true. Don't break. <gasps> oh, did it work? Oh gosh, it's freaking out, okay? Something went awry. It appears I have added one too many blocks. Let me, let me, um, what? Wait. So we've achieved the effect that we want, which is good, but it also appears I can't remove the portals. Am I just trapped? You are not pointing to any non-global portal. This command cannot process global portals. I don't, I don't think I understand the circumstances in which I have found myself. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's see, I have a world file called Model House. I wanna see if this even worked. What happened? What's going on? Nothing, it's just another village. Amazing. The last thing I wanna show you, and I'm very proud, very proud of what you're about to see. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, and or for those of you who missed one of my previous uploads where I was playing with the Immersive Railroading mod, I very much like trains. Oh, by the way, something in this world, uh, when I spawned in, is just an underground shipwreck. Over here, I have decided to build myself a table with a small model minecart railway on it. You know, it's just a simple loop of track. There's a minecart going around the track. There's a little pond over here with a bridge. There's a little workshop over here with some items. And there's a house over here. The portals just flickered on and off, so that might lead you to a... Uh, make a guess as to what is actually happening here, but I have actually encompassed this space with that scaled box view command thing. And if I enter this house right here and go down into the basement, you're gonna see something pretty cool. Or at least I think it's pretty cool. Let us, uh, let's head down. So you walk in the house, got some storage, some tools, some, you know, works, workspace, all that stuff, a little painting on the wall. But if you go downstairs, Got yourself a little model Minecraft railway. How cool is that? This makes me so happy to like actually have figured this out. And it's just a table, a table's part of it too. It's got legs, it's got some like cross members to sturdy it up. And uh, yeah, there's not, it's just, it's just cool that we have this ability to make tiny things. And if I dare step on the table, game freaks out. I scale up, that's always annoying. Let me scale back down and fall on the table. If this portal decides it wants to cooperate, there we go. And I'm uh, and I can and I can work on my model railroad if I so choose. I don't so choose, but if I do, enter the house. You can see I have put some stuff in here, so it's like an actual house. And I got a little minecart coming around. This is a lot of fun. This is about the highest degree to which I've actually played with these commands. But I do think putting this knowledge out there will enable a lot of people to make some pretty cool things. So once again, portal, create, scaled box view. And there's an optimized version, but that doesn't include the, the options of like byway and all that stuff, which I kind of feel like is a better thing to have. I literally don't know. I'm just learning this stuff as I go, but yeah. That is something I think you all should know. So I'm gonna scale myself back up and I'm gonna stand right here and I'm gonna outro this short little video showing off this nice little feature. So, thank you all. Now hang on just a minute. I just finished editing this video and realized I didn't actually execute the recursive thing. I kinda did it, but it's not, it's not right. It's not right. And it's also kinda terrifying. So if I, Kill at E. This is gonna kill me too, but if I kill at E, get rid of the portals, which are awful and scary and terrifying, I'm gonna find it. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna do it right here. Let me do it right here, right now. Let's build a house and make it loop in on itself. Sound good? Cool, because I'm not stopping. I want this video to, you know, come full circle and everything. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is a seven by seven space. So let's put that there, make it eight by eight. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know why I didn't do it this way sooner. So let me put that there, put this here, and then I need to go 16 blocks up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Portal, create scaled box view from there to up there. And as a test, I will do this over here on a path block on top of which I will center myself real quick. True and true. Okay, and the reason I've used the path block is because the reason I've used a path block, oh, that's that's not at all terrifying. There, uh, for, 
Let me speak. The reason I've used the path block is because this small representation is, it contains the ground floor block. And what that means is if I surround it with trapdoors to kind of fill in the space, it will just look like a little model. Yeah, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove these portals and to, you know, bring closure to this whole experiment, I'm gonna do what I've just done, but put it in the house. Use this command. And hopefully, let me uh, real quick put all these in here. And what I think we've done is we've done the effect. Now, the only problem with doing it this way specifically is that having windows out of the house kind of ruins the illusion because there's a limit to how many times this can generate. And it looks like we've got ourselves, is that even showing on the inside? It's not showing the inner portal, which is strange. But if we look outside, you can see there is a one, two, three repetitions, but if we go outside, the illusion works like normal, but yeah, there we go. Let me go scale set one, one, I said, let's go out here and uh, yeah. So there is the, um, there's that whole thing. That's cool. That's, that's that wrapped up. Okay. I continue with the outro now. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more stuff like this, then do please subscribe and share this video to your friends, places, things, and the blah, blah, blah. We're getting pretty close to hundred K. I still cannot believe the amount of support these videos have been getting lately. And I only have you asked to thank. So thank you. 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 But that is going to do for this video and get this right. Get this. I'm going to see all of you in the next video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>